Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here, professional e-bike builder, and I'm working on this bike here, and I thought I would show you what I'm dealing with. Maybe you're dealing with it too. So I'm working on this bike here, and it's a PF30, so I need to adapt it to make this motor fit. I wanna show you what I did. This is a fat bike. So I installed, I installed those. Those are PF30 to BSA adapters. So it just shrinks that hole up a little bit. And then I added this little spacer in there to see it. Now it fits in there nice. And then you can see in there, keeps that from hitting. Gets it as close as possible, but now it's not gonna hit the frame. Get in there a little bit closer. So yeah. So if you have that problem where you remove your bottom bracket and now you got like a just a giant hole in there that's not even close to this, you wanna get these things. Uh, you either have a BB30 or a PF30 and they're just adapters. They bring it down into the standard BSA that'll fit around this so it'll keep it nice and snug. Yeah, let me know which one you need and I'll be happy to send it out. If you got a fat bike, let me know if you want this little spacer uh, it's way better than using a million of these guys. <laughs> these are expensive. For some reason, these are expensive, but you just put one solid piece in there and you're good to go. All right, later guys.